coming from McMillan at the last minute under Rollo, but I think you'll find it'll be Callaway, followed by Rollo and McMillan. We'll wait for official placings in that one, ladies and gentlemen, for race 17 tonight, our street stocks, heat two. Retirement out of five car of Rodney Callaway. Second home, the R73 car of Peter Rollo. And the third car home, the 37 of Anthony McMillan. Fastest lap time set by 37, Anthony McMillan. And uh, fastest lap time, of course, was a 1968, 19.68. Race time, a 158.90, a 158.90. The race time for race number 17. Carnot Field at this time, of course, is, I would believe, the 44 of Andrew O'Rourke. Possibly some issues with that car. And the green is on the action. We are away and racing with our mini sprinters in uh, heat two of the uh, mini sprinters tonight for Timmer Speedway out here. A good jump off the line for Luke Lindsay in car number 29 to the outside. They'll have a look at the speed Paul Crouch and Gavin Nickel drive into the turn with. And certainly the Haynes sponsored paint uh, sponsored car to the front of the pack now. Luke Lindsay, on the other hand, uh, not letting too much off the pace and charges behind him. McCarthy running in third at the moment. Uh, and of course, cart 65, the entry of Wade McCarthy, looking fairly solid there. And a reasonable length of uh, strip between himself and fourth place in the 47 of Chris Keir. One to travel now as the flag obviously is uh, shown to all competitors as they go through. So one for Crouch and Nickel, one also for Lindsay and one for McCarthy. A couple of guys are slowing down uh, there. And of course, it looks like it might be Lindsay that's got the issue. But there's a check and flag for the Hames paint car of Paul Crouch and Gavin Nickel. Second place, the 65 car of Wade McCarthy. And at this stage of the game, it would uh, certainly be third place to the 47 car of Chris Keir. 3A tonight, race 13. Out of position one, Muldura 9, Matt McClure. Out of two, the Muldura 11 of Robbie Foam. Out of three, the car of uh, Alan Irwin, car number 87. Out of position four, car zero, Brian Galley. Out of five, the Murray Bridge entry, 99 of Terry Brown. Out of position six, the 17 car of Trevor Mills. Out of seven, the six car of Peter McCarthy. Out of uh, position eight is the number four car of Mark Decker. And out of nine, the entry, number 69 of Jason Jewell. Wait for all those cars. Able to drive, best moment in Speedway, able to drive a car onto the trailer. So there you go, there's a bit of uh, history for Brian Galley, of course, out on the track at the moment in the Zero VZ Commodore. Mm. Five ready to do battle in this one for race 13 tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And there's the green, we're away in racing. And let me tell you, keep your eyes on the Zero car, Brian Galley, because normally when he's at the very front of the field, he consolidates. And have a look at the speed the guy's got as he heads away. Car number nine beside him, the entry of Matt McClure trying very hard to stay with him. And I say that uh, literally. Third place at this stage is the entry of uh, Mark Deckett. Oh, Deckett winds wildly across the front of that car there and uh, having some issues as he slows considerably. Third place at this stage of the game looks like it could be the 99 entry of Terry Brown now. So a new player in the placings. It is Galley followed by McClure, then Brown. And the zero car, Brian Galley, uh, certainly setting the pace. The 87 car at the tail end of the field there, ladies and gentlemen, is Alan Irwin. And believe it or not, at this stage of the game, if all goes well, he certainly will finish fourth. And there'll be some points to pick up there. Good drive, ladies and gentlemen, out of the 99 car of Terry Brown as he gets the BA wound up nicely from the back part of turns three and four and got past the entry of uh, Matt McClure fairly easily then. Certainly a long way off the pace, though, in trying to peg back our lead driver at the moment. 
in Brian Galley. The five to travel, Brian Galley at this stage of the game uh, commands the event. And uh, if he's able to stay in the placing that he's in now, certainly will put another lot of points uh, into his pocket, which will help him out to no end going into our finals tonight. Four to travel for these guys now as the Campbell wrecking car. Car number 87 of Alan Irwin goes through to complete yet another one. Three to travel for our leader now. And the Falcon of Terry Brown certainly well ahead of the rest of the field and making it look pretty easy at this stage of the game. Two to travel. So we'll get the white directly after this one. And Galley has certainly set himself in nicely to a uh, regular routine. Deckard, of course, the car that's sitting infield in the Petter suspension Monaro. And there's the white. One to travel now for our lead car, and it is that one there, the zero of Brian Galley. One also for the uh, thorn-built BA Falcon, the number 99 of uh, Terry Brown. Third car through the Matt McClure car. But there's your checker flag and the big wind-up and just uh, on the point of lapping the remainder of the field in the 47 car, 87 car of, uh, of uh, Alan Irwin was our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks as though Brian Galley picks that one. Second place will go to the 99 entry of Terry Brown. Third in second position, the 99 car of Terry Brown. And in third position, the car 9 car of Matt McClure. Fastest lap time of 17.36 by car zero. And a new 10 lap record, John. Right, so it's got to be faster than 258.56. 255.03. Oh. Chris Waters has done, uh, done his dough on that one. You know, that record stood since the 27th of uh, January, February, March, 1999. There you go. There we go. So a new 10 lap record here at the Edge Hotel pretty close yeah. to going again. Yep. I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist like me to work that out. <laughs> <laughs> not saying I'm a rocket scientist, I'm not, not a rocket scientist at all, but I'm telling you it'll go again. It only tells me that the track is in reasonable condition and that the guys that are out there at the moment really have their cars dialed in well, Kristen, and we certainly, certainly are do. seeing the result of that right there in front of you. Now, when, so I was, when I was down in the pits, there are a few on trailers, which is a bit disappointing, but yep. we'll get messages through for those, I suppose, as well. Well, all the girls in the house should well be cheering at the moment for car number eight, the Fiona Verhoeven car, which is smack bang in the middle of that trio going into turns three and four right now as she splits the guys up nicely. We are away in racing in race 14 tonight, ladies and gentlemen, which is heat 3B. Oh, just see the height that uh, was taken out of that thing. Wow. Boy, he got some height out of the front end of the... Uh, car there that's relegated him well back towards the end of the field maybe some damage there have to keep our eyes on that 47 car now of uh, Justin Alberni but our lead car at the moment ladies and gentlemen is the 24 entry belonging to of course Gavin Fletcher and this guy at the moment makes it look pretty tight as he gets away in the uh, Falcon in tow behind him Is the 47, uh, 47 car of Alberni at the tail. Let's have a good look at uh, second place at this stage of the game. It is the 14 car of uh, Wayne Ramsdale. Uh, Ramsdale, let me tell you, has some pace too. He's gotten away from uh, his nearest opponent and is actually making ground on the 24 car of Gavin Fletcher. So this will be worth watching. If Ramsdale can keep the pace up, he has hurrying him up the 84 car of Mark Simmons. Simmons running in third place and down the back straight and into turns three and four again is actually gaining on Ramsdale. So we could have a brilliant battle for some of the minor placings in this one. A little further down the field we find the eight car of Van Hoven. And she's come under a stack of pressure. Neil Watson in the uh, number three car, certainly taking it up to uh, Fiona at this stage of the game. Three to travel on this one, ladies and gentlemen, for race 14 tonight. Your lead driver at this stage is still this guy now coming out of turns three and four. 
It is the Black uh, Beast. Car number 24, the entry of Gavin Fletcher. Two to travel for Fletcher. And as he comes up the back straight and now tips into three and four, this time through he will greet the white flag. One to travel for Fletcher. One to travel also for Ramsdale. I want to travel also for the 84 of Mark Simmons in that order. Van Hoven now trying her best to hold Neil Watson at bay. But there's your checkered flag, ladies and gentlemen, and picking up the points in this one is the 24 entry, we believe, of Gavin Fletcher. Second will be the 14 entry of Wayne Ramsdale. Following behind him will be the entry of Mark Simmons. Wait for official placings, though, on race 14 tonight, ladies and gentlemen. In first position was car 24, Gavin Fletcher. In second position, car 14, Wayne Ramsdale. And in third position, car 84, Mark Simmons. Fastest lap time was 17.87 by car 24. And race time of 3 minutes and 2.66. 3.02.66. Hmm. Very good. Let's move on now, Kristen, to race 15 tonight. Uh, heat 3C of our production, or rather our modified production uh, sedans tonight. There's some substantial into the next uh, lot of racing for race 15 tonight on the card. Just been doing a uh, little bit of rearranging in the oh, race night program, John, again. You wouldn't be, would you? <laughs> I'll fill every. What we're going to do is we're going to finish the modified heats and I'll fill everyone in after this race. Let's do that, eh? Away in racing, and it looks like the 56 car of Graham West got the better of the starts that time through. And there's a yellow again on the action. I think we might have someone just jumping the start. As we're going to do this time round. Rightio, we're ready to go for race 15. Green and away and racing yet again. And into the turn goes Phil Pottage in car number 88. And at this stage of the game leads the crew going into turns 3 and 4. Simon Bennett is in car number 10 behind him in second place. And third place being hotly contested by the uh, 35 car by the look at it, uh, a rather 33 car of uh, Michael Solomon and the 56 entry there of Graham West. West looks like he might have had the upper hand going into three and four this time out. And the little brown Tirana from Bendigo gets through nicely. Justin Drew in the Australia One car coming up from the rear of the field round the outside of Solomon there. And he's got Graham West in his sights. You know what? I've got a funny feeling he's going to gobble him up very shortly. And he goes inside tight, and that's the uh, death knell for the uh, Bendigo car. As our Australia 1, Justin Drew goes through, and he'll be the last time they'll get a chance to see him. For sure. So Pottage out in front in the uh, very nice-looking VY Commodore out on the track in the 88 car. The 10 car of Simon Ben and Justin Drew nicely up to third position, followed by Graham West in the little Bendigo Tirana. Drew now quietly whittling away the lead and uh, very shortly he's going to take the purchase on second place I would believe as the uh, bent car is now well and truly under fire from the number one car of Justin Drew five to travel in this one ladies and gentlemen keep your eyes on Drew runs at a little midfield and just tagged up nicely behind that number 10 car of Simon Bent Bent very shortly is going to get a wake-up call. Looks like this is where it will happen. Drew now gets the gas down and drives up the inside. Bent is pushed a little high. Holds his line nicely on Drew, though. And Bent still has the placing, albeit by a thread. But uh, if nothing else, Kristen, these two guys racing one another now is starting to close the gap up on our lead driver in Phil Pottage. We're going to have a brilliant uh, finish towards the end of this one. Two laps to go for these guys. Drew going nicely and tailed up behind the back of this car. I believe he'll pounce on him very shortly and he'll try and take the points for second. Certainly uh, no ambitions of trying to peg back the lead driver now. Uh, the battle really is, will it be third or will it be second? And this white flag, Kristen, may very well be the decider for him. For sure. 
of course, white flag means one lap to go for these guys, and they know that. In the back of their heads, they've been planning this lap for the whole race. Justin Drew coming up nicely on the inside of Bent, but Pottage will take the win with car 10, Simon Bent, and Justin Drew in third position. Tell course. you what, good drive for Simon Bent. Great drive, really. Very good drive. Of course, we will wait for official position. You know, a lot of drivers in the past... Kristen that would have had uh, the number one car like Justin Drew breathing down their throats uh, may well have made room and let him go through but uh, got a hand at the Simon Bent and the number 10 car certainly held him at bay and took the points so hats off to him well done and a brilliant drive for our 88 car 88 in first position Phil Pottage in second position car 10 Simon Bent and in third position car 1 Justin Drew Fastest flat time was 17.32 by car number one and a race time of 2.58.25. Parko, when I reached Parko's weight, it was his worst moment. And we're racing! Into race 16, ladies and gentlemen, as we uh, go through. Very quick start to this one. And there's one that's gone round and round. And there's the yellow. We're under a yellow. It looks like Simpson uh, might have got uh, a reasonably good start out of that one. So did the 13 of, uh, of Russell Bent as well. You can see the green flag being prepared. It means we're not far away from a start, I would believe. Very nicely followed up there for a start, John. Yeah. Very nicely. Probably one of the better ones for the night. The Bass Waste car, though, car number 13, the entry of Russell Bent. Boy, is he hell-bent to win this one tonight. Got away beautifully from the back of the pack. Pushes into three and four very smoothly indeed. Next car on the chase would be the car of Simpsons, I would believe, the 42 car. And then it's car number 18, the entry belonging to, of course, Ken Alberni. Running currently in third, and Alberni at the moment certainly has his hands full as they tip into the turn. And the smoke coming off that car, I would believe, would be the 72 car of Horson with that uh, telltale uh, trail that he leaves behind. And he currently sits in third position now after scaling over the 13 entry of uh, Russell Bent. Bent now leading. Behind him, Simpson now. And you better throw in uh, Horson now for three in a row. Horson now all over the back of uh, Simpson. Have a look at the speed he throws the car in. You know what, Horson may well pick up a, at least one placing in this one yet. As the Dynamic Motors car of Brett Simpson now puts the heat on our lead driver in Russell Bent in car number 13. Bit of trivia for you, John. The uh, old Ash Parkinson car in Marty's car 72 against the uh, new Ash Parkinson car, car number five. We've got a car rounds over on the back straight. Uh, looks like we might have a black flag coming. Ash won't, probably won't be a happy boy, but that's the rules. Well, you've got to hand it to Russell Bent, uh, Kristen, he got out of the pack nice and early and he sits right at the front of the lead, but uh, certainly had some decent ground on the rest of the field. Certainly has. Brilliant. Then uh, we'll get back into some racing. You know what? I always say to people, we don't write the songs, we just sing them. And that's right. uh, effectively how it goes. There is a rule book there, we're just following it. How about Martin Horson? Smoke and all, the guy is quick. Yeah. And he's certainly sitting in third place for a reason. Once we get back on the heat, the Tabas sponsored car of Horson now. Keep your eye on him because he certainly has a score to settle with the 42 car of Brett Simpson. And here we go as we go into turn three and four, ladies and gentlemen, with five to go. Horson now puts the heat on Simpson. Boy, Simpson knows he's got him banging on the back door. Sooner or later, it's going to be like, you know what? I want second and it's mine. Give it to me. Lead driver at the moment, the 13 car of Russell Bent, knows that there's a right royal ding-dong going back behind the back of his car and certainly wants to keep well clear of it. 
Here comes Horson now up the inside of the Dynamic Motors car of Simpson. They both throw into the turn nicely. Horson follows him through and drag races him clean out of the straight. Now he takes second, which he wanted. The big question is now, Kristen, with four laps to go, has Horson got the pace to now effectively tag back Russell Bent in car number 13? That's the question. Horson, I think, picks up a lot of uh, lot of speed in the straights coming out of the corners. So if he can get some speed up through the straights over the next couple of laps, he might have a fair good chance of breaking that, that gap there, John. I'll tell you the other thing we must keep our eye on too is that Simpson, by uh, all stretch of the imagination, is uh, no idiot. He really can drive, no doubt about it. He will be sitting on the back of that guy and waiting for a mistake to be made. And if he does, Horson makes a mistake for a split second. Simpson will be all over him like a Krishna on an airline traveller. He will not let him go. <laughs> All right, white flag out. One lap to go for these guys. Martin Horson, four-wheel Jura, keeping second position quite nicely at the moment. Of course, as John's saying, with the car behind him there. But checkered flag. All over. For Russell Bent in first position, Martin Horson in second, and Brett Simpson in third. Just wait for official results. And we officially now have interval. In first position, car 13, being the car of Russell Bent. In second position, car 72, Martin Horson. And in third position, car 42, Brett Simpson. Fastest lap time was 17.59 by car 13. And no race time. Right, yeah, they couldn't get Heinze much closer no. to uh, Burke than that. It's where they were Siamese twins. Certainly would. Green flag dropping. Wayne Burke off the pole quite nicely. Cole Beasley in Mildura 27, round the outside. Of course, the track just a little bit wet at the moment in the grade. Cole Beasley holding out first position nicely. Wayne Burke in second, Michael Hines followed by Grant Patchell. It's the Cole Beasley X Factor <laughs> in front. Of course, sponsored by Planet X. Michael Hines, of course, doing his job to uh, try and keep the man in front of him in Wayne Burke, honest, <laughs> let me tell you, Heinz, he's doing a pretty good job of that. I can't see him trading too much uh, orange paint at the moment. That will come, no doubt. Certainly will. Go Cole ahead. Beasley still holding out in front. Wayne Burke and Michael Hines, I'll tell you what, these two boys are going to be sleeping in the doghouse tonight. <laughs> Have a look at them go. Wayne Burke, second position. Michael Hines, Grant Tatchell in 88 car coming in behind them, but Cole Beasley holding the lead quite nicely, coming around five laps to go, John. You know, if uh, Heinze gets any closer to Wayne Burke, they will need a bucket of water to separate them. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Fair dinkum. Have a look at these two guys. Uh, Cole Beasley's probably got the smartest idea, and that was to get a reasonably good start and get in front of these other two lunatics and stay in front of them. Certainly some brilliant racing. The Aylard Automotive uh, Rundle's auction-sponsored car of Wayne Burke and we've got to remember, this guy's travelling a lot of distance to be here to race uh, on many occasions, Tristan, and he's been a, almost a local here this season. He certainly has. Wayne's uh, put in the fair effort to come to uh, Mildura this season, which is great to see Wayne and his mum and dad down here every race meeting. Yeah. Fantastic. Leeton's certainly not like Renmark. It's a long way, well, a long way from here. Through the Hay Plains. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best drive. <laughs> And the guy's pretty keen, and as you can see, keen as enough to uh, to be sitting smack bang in between first and third position, and currently, as we said, holding down second nicely. Lead driver and Beasley at this stage, though, uh, is showing a very clean pair of heels, and he's, uh, well, at this stage, looking pretty confident in taking first place. Very, very shortly, Kristen, the white flag. White lights on for Cole Beasley in the Mildura 27 car. Wayne Burke gathering up the uh, the gap a little bit on Cole, but he's got one lap to do this in now to bring these points through to add to his totals for this season. So Cole Beasley doing nicely in first position. Wayne Burke followed by Michael Hines and Grant Tatchell. Looking like even distance between these guys, first, second and third at the moment. Checkered flag for car 27, Cole Beasley, followed by the other 27, Wayne Burke and Michael Hines and Grant Tatchell. Production sedan, eight lap final, done and dusted. Well done, all we need. Oh, far out. All right, first position, Mildura 27, Cole Beasley. Second position, Leighton 27, Wayne Burke. Third position, car eight, Michael Hines. Fastest lap time of 18.90 by Leighton 27. And a race time of 233.85. 
Well, currently down there at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, are the modified production cars. And let me tell you, every one of the drivers, by the look of it, are sitting beside their car. So kids, cheer to them when you see them come through. They can hear you. And they, uh, they love the attention. Makes them go even harder when no, they chief let them go. <laughs> He's popped his top by the look of it. <laughs> the other thing you will need to know is, do you need the most powerful car or the most reliable car? Well, I think reliable's on the cards, but let's uh, see. We're going to drop a green flag here for the Victorian Modified Production title. We're into it in racing, ladies and gentlemen, and away we go with the zero car, I would believe, of Brian Galley as he tips in nicely. Drew sitting now in about fourth or fifth. Second place at the moment looks like it's being strung down nicely to the 13th entry of uh, Russell Bent. And challenging behind him is the 24 car of Gavin Fletcher. So that's where we sit at the moment. It is Galley, Bent followed of course by Fletcher and Drew and you better throw in the 99 car of Terry Brown to follow in fifth so certainly the first five placings that we've got in front of us Kristen have been the numbers we've been talking about most of the night tonight Terry Brown then you've got followed by Brett Simpson Ash Parkinson and Matt McClure in the nine car from Mildura the 81 car is of course the car of Rodney Burr in there as well Bit of damage hanging off the back of the 15 car. That, of course, is the entry of Terry Board. Only trailing a rear bumper. Not a lot of damage done there other than something coming in. Oh, a little unglued. But certainly nothing unglued at the front of this pile. These guys are setting themselves nicely. The question that will remain is for guys like our lead driver at the moment in Brian Galley, just how much is going to hold him up going into some of that lap traffic? and how dangerous is it going to be for him to tag one of those tail-enders and blow his chances. Lap traffic is always a threat, of course, on these uh, long lap races, John. Of course, Brian Gully, of course, with his experience, will use that, hopefully, to his advantage. Tail-end bumper coming off the zero car of uh, Brian Gally now. Looks like it's uh, been dislodged, and I wouldn't believe it's come from touching anything. I would just say that it uh, is, is basically deep the uh, laminating itself from the car by itself uh, not causing any great risk at the moment but certainly with 35 laps to go you wouldn't be want to be dragging that too long around the place possibility of uh, a flag because of it creating a dangerous situation later is possible for sure so Brian Galley out in front in the zero car of course he has got a uh, bit of damage at the back followed by the 13 car of Russell Bent. I'll tell you the battle to watch at the moment, Kristen, is right there in fourth and fifth. And I'll tell you now, it is Terry Brown. Terry Brown hanging all over the back of that car of car number one, the Australian one, of Justin Drew. Keep your eye on these two guys. They are certainly going punch for punch down there earlier on. And Ash Parkinson and Brett Simpson in the 5 and 42 cars tying out for fifth and sixth position as well. The 15 car probably about to lose that bit of uh, bumper off the back there, John. Some issues for the number nine car. Matt McClure slowing dramatically up towards the back. Car heading infield there. Looks like it's the number five car of Ash Parkinson, and that's uh, not a good sign for Ash as he uh, heads right towards that, uh, that impounded area. So that looks like his night has been uh, possibly run and won there. Justin Drew holding his... Uh position still nicely roughly in about third position we're thinking at the moment great battle going on between the 13 car of russell bent right here and that 24 car belonging to of course gavin fletcher those two guys tailed up nicely between one another and really that distance there Kristen, has not altered for the last three laps that's right and of course as we were mentioning before brian galley going through the lap traffic now coming up onto mark deckett unusual to see mark at the back of the field being lapped but that's obviously what's happened in this racing. 22 laps to go now for the lead car. Have a look at the speed that Galley gathers as he goes into that turn. He's certainly got to pick his way through gently. And with the likes of these guys, Deckett and also the 56 car belonging to Graham West out of Bendigo, neither of those two guys really want to give him an even run through there. Dingo still circulating high. 
And there's one overheating by the look of it down the back. I uh, don't know how long that's going to last for. And that, of course, ladies and gentlemen, is the 84 entry of Mark Simmons. It's uh, effectively popped its top. And coming infield is the one car. Dr. Drew making some weird noises there. 81 just got uh, overtaken on both sides and now pulling in. Rodney